we will look now at ways of understanding domain and range of functions mainly through plotting. So we'll look at a few examples where I show you how to plot a function and then from that plot we can infer interesting information about domain and range. So just as an example, suppose you were given the function f of x equals x divided by x squared plus 1. I think looking at this it's not so easy to tell what the domain and range are. But if you look at the plot, we can see quite a bit of interesting information. So looking at this, it doesn't seem like there are any x values that are excluded. I seem to have no problems with those. So this tells us that the domain should be minus infinity to infinity. Now the range, though, does appear to be quite limited. It appears to only go from minus one-half to one-half. So instead of having to do a careful analysis of the function itself, all I had to do was look at the plot and I could very quickly see what the domain and range are. I will remark, however, that for my example x over x squared plus 1, to check the domain just check where the denominator is non-zero because these are the points at which the fraction will be defined at the points where the denominator is zero, you may run into problems with uh, trying to define your function there because division by zero is not allowed. So this is typically a way to look at a function that's at least a fraction of two things and analyze quickly whether there's a restriction on the domain. Is the denominator ever zero? If it is, the places where it's zero must be excluded from your domain. So let's look at a few more examples with plotting. Let's consider f of x equals 1 over x minus 1. So I will show you how to uh, plot this. Notice that at x equals 1, I'm going to have a problem because I'll be dividing by 0 there. So I won't be defining any values though. I'll put what's called the uh, little dash mark here. Now for large values of x, I'm very close to 0. So the picture is something like this. And then for large negative values of x, I'm also very close to 0, but negative. So here is your sketch for this. So what can we tell from this? The domain. The issue is clearly at 1. So I'll say everything except x equals 1. Another way to write this is minus infinity to 1. Don't include 1. Union 1 to infinity. And then the range, again, appears to be everything except that I'm not actually getting to 0 here. So I never hit y equals 0. So this is y-axis, this is the x-axis. So the range appears to be minus infinity to 0 together with 0 to infinity, i.e. everything except 0. So if you knew how to plot this function, you could talk very quickly about its domain and range. Let's look at another example. This one's a bit simpler. f of x equals negative x. This is, I think, a very reasonable one to plot. just a line with slope negative 1. So my picture is like this. So the domain seems to have no restrictions. So it's minus infinity to infinity. And then also the range has no restrictions. I hit everything in the range 
in the domain, I also get to use everything. So this is a very simple example. One more. We'll make this one involving absolute value. Let's look at absolute value x minus 1. So if I plug in x equals 1, I get 0. So do I have a point here? When x is 2, I get 1 in the output. So the picture is like this. So what can I infer? Uh, I have no domain restrictions. But I do have a big range restriction. I can't get anything negative from the absolute value. So I'll say that the range is everything non-negative. So to write this out, domain minus infinity to infinity range 0 to infinity and will include 0. So notice that this is very similar to the, uh, the parabola we saw in a previous example that had domain everything but range only 0 and greater, including 0. And this sort of makes sense if you look at the pictures. The absolute value and the parabola are very similar looking. The parabola is uh, sort of a, a smoothed out V, and the absolute value is a non-smooth V, where it has a very sharp point. But from a qualitative standpoint, they're quite similar. Uh, so it makes sense that they would have the same domain and range.